I'm so excited because today is my Ipsy unboxing. Yay! So if you're not aware, Ipsy is a monthly subscription where you get beauty supplies in the mail, like sample sizes. Um, it was actually started by Michelle Fawn and a bunch of other YouTubers are now involved. It's Desi Perkins and Lusterlux, people that I really admire. Um, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so it costs about $10 US. Um, it cost me $15 because I'm in Canada and plus shipping because I'm a little farther away. Um, so for $15 you get a bunch of beauty products in the mail. Um, I haven't opened my bag. I've been super excited to get it, but I thought that I would do it on camera. I was just filming a my morning routine, so I just kind of threw on this makeup quickly, but if you're interested in seeing this makeup look a tutorial, then please let me know in the comments down below. Um, so without further ado, let's get to the Ipsy unbox. So first of all, I cannot get over this packaging. It is just the cutest, okay? It's like, it's bubble wrap, whatever, but like, it's like this fun, shiny, shiny stuff. And I really love my glitter and I love my shiny stuff, so I'm pretty excited about it. So oh my gosh, I've been dying to open this package. You don't even know, okay? I'm like obsessed. And like, Ipsy actually sends you updates of like, what's in your bag and I haven't even looked at like what's in my bag just because I wanted to do it fresh for you guys so here we go oh <laughs> it's not working out too great oh no okay okay we got it now okay so let's see oh wow so you can get a, you can win a subscription for a year by just taking a picture of you in your glam bag and then hashtagging it a bunch of things so that's interesting I might try to do that actually hmm. There's a picture of my girl Luster Lux here. I'm pretty excited about that. So let's see. So first up, it comes with this little bag. Um, TDH, I think these are kind of wasteful because, I mean, it's actually it's actually pretty cute now that I think about it, but I've got some makeup bags and like I don't really use makeup bags all that often, so I hope it doesn't come with a makeup bag every single time, uh, just because I feel like I would have a bunch that I wouldn't um, really need. But it says, Contents My Life. It's actually really cute. I really like this canvas material, so... Okay, that's that's pretty cute, I guess. So let's see. Hmm. So you get this Urban Decay lipstick, I think it is? Oh my gosh, it's a high-impact lip gloss. Seriously, I said I didn't want lip glosses. Not impressed. So you get this lip pencil, and it's clear. Well, it's white, so I don't really understand. 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. Okay, so the lip gloss is supposed to be super pigmented, and you get two shades, so this one and this one. Um, that's actually pretty cool because I've been trying, I've been thinking of doing a look with like a purple um, lip, so um, yeah, I guess I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, okay, so this lip pencil is actually a priming lip pencil, so you put it on to make your uh, color grab better and it prevents feathering, hides fine lines, and corrects mistakes. Um, it's waterproof, it stays creamy, it's got vitamin A, jojoba oil, cottonseed. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, so I'm actually really excited about that. I love my lip primers. I usually use um, MAC Prep and Prime, but I love trying new products, so that's pretty interesting. So all in all, I'm actually pretty excited about this, um, <clears throat> even though it is a lip gloss. Um, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Ooh, what's this? A gel eyeliner in ebony. Good, because I actually really, really needed a eyeliner, um, a black eyeliner, just because I have one from like Shoppers Drug Mart years ago that's now like super blue, but I keep using it because I don't know. I just want it to be over with and I don't want to like waste a product, but like seriously, it's so, so old that it's, it's really time for a new one. So now it's kind of I like when they're sharpened because I find like when they're personal when they're like sharpened by the company then they're like um, really really good like really really sharp but yeah oh it glides on really smoothly that's the color there so it's pretty black um, so I'm pretty excited about this I really needed one so okay pretty impressed so far next up oh a brush this looks like a blender brush to me um, but that's super cute. I'm all about my brushes. Um, yeah, I do already have a blender brush, so I mean, it's, you know, sort of bordering on wasteful, <laughs> but I don't know. It looks pretty good and it feels pretty nice, so I don't know. I guess you can't have too many blender brushes. Next up is this, uh, Ami Naturally Kind Morning Dew 
matte finish moisturizer. So it controls, controls oiliness and shine, hydrates and softens. Um, so I'm pretty excited about that. I've been shopping around for like a daytime moisturizer. So yeah, I guess I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, moisturizers aren't like the most amazing, like super fun thing to do. Like I'd much rather have like a bunch of little sample lip colors or something, but I mean, whatever, it works. Yeah, and then lastly, I got this repairing leave-in conditioner spray by Biogio, <laughs> however that's pronounced. Um, so it's just for your hair. It's got rosehip, argan, and coconut oil. Um, so I mean, that seems pretty cool, I guess. It's a lightweight leave-in conditioning spray, fortified with a blend of blah, 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 hibiscus leaf, antioxidants, vitamin E to provide moisture, strength, manageability, and softness, and protect against UV breakage, heat damage, and exposure. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, I mean, this is pretty exciting, I guess, but honestly, my hair is super, super, super fine, so anything that's like really, really conditioning, like, just kind of weighs my hair down, so I'm excited to see if it does weigh it down or not, but I don't know. So, TBH, my um, sort of thoughts on like the entire Ipsy bag is that like, there are some interesting things, but like, I don't know, I'd rather have something that gave me like a bunch of different lip products or something like that, like just because like, they're fun things that you don't usually buy the like full size, you know what I mean? Whereas like, moisturizer you don't really see, and like, yeah, leave-in conditioner you don't really see. Um, the blender brush feels really awesome, but yeah, the gel liner is super practical, but like, this is something pretty basic that you would have in your basic like collection usually, so I don't know, it's almost like you would just end up getting like a bunch of, of black eyeliners, which like everyone has anyway, kind of thing, so I don't know, I'll probably continue my subscription for another month and then see how it goes. But, I don't know, I'm not like crazy, crazy, crazy impressed. Maybe I'll try like the Birch Box or something. Um, do you do any subscriptions? Like, what do you like? Do you get one that has like more like crazy lip products in it or something? Um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, maybe your experience with Ipsy, uh, your experience with any subscription box, I'd really like to know. Um, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Anything you do really, really helps me out. Um, so until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.